Proverbs 13.20 says, He who walks with wise men will be wise, but the companion of fools will be destroyed. Proverbs 13.20 We know that in the multitude of counselors, there can be gain, there can be understanding, there can be wisdom, there can be guidance, there can be a multitude of blessings and increase when we surround ourselves with wise people. Now we know that true wisdom comes from God because God is the all-wise God, as Romans declares. And we can come to know God by believing Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and repenting of our sins. As this occurs, we receive the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is not only our advocate, our helper, and our comforter. He's the spirit of truth, the spirit of peace, and he is the spirit of wisdom. As 1 Corinthians declares, Does not the spirit in man discern the thoughts of another? And likewise, the Holy Spirit discerns and knows the thoughts of the Father. And so since everything has been created by God, first and foremost, we should go to God to seek understanding, counsel, and wisdom in all things. And in doing so, just as the book of James declares, we can ask God for wisdom, and he is more than willing to give us wisdom. God is more willing to give than we are to receive. And so, first and foremost, our wisdom should be gathered from God Almighty. But we also want to make sure that the people we surround in our lives and, and business and entrepreneurship and mentors and board of directors and, and uh, just anyone in our inner circle, we want to make sure that they are wise. Because if we surround ourselves with fools, we will be destroyed. Uh, we know that Proverbs talks everywhere. Uh, it's the distinction between the wise and the foolish. And we know that the way of the fools is destruction. It is uh, ultimately damnation for those who don't turn to God and it is um, a, a walk that does not fulfill it's a walk that goes by human intellect but we know that God uses the foolish things of the world to confound the wise to make them just say how is that even possible because we know that it's in our weakness that God is made strong and so we need to uh, always make sure that our counsel and who we surround ourselves with is not just merely intellectual head knowledge, people who have read many books, people who just have degrees and titles. We want people in our inner circle who are people of wisdom, and true wisdom comes from God. And ultimately, we want them to be born again because God can speak through them to us. God can help give the right counsel and guidance through a multitude of ways, through his word, through his spirit, uh, through uh, implanting a thought in our mind, but also through people. So may we not be uh, as the fool and surround ourselves with uh, fools because that end road will lead to destruction and we will be destroyed in the process. But may we seek to surround ourselves with wise people because when we do, we ourselves will also be wise.